Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd So today we're going to talk about some of the characteristics of the people of Tawheed the people who uh, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely and this is related to our lecture although this isn't a part of our regular book that we're reading from but this is also related to Tawheed, it's related to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's related to worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone so this verse from the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes for us the characteristics of the people who, whose Tawheed is perfect and the people who have complete Tawheed, meaning that they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani, in the best way that Allah is pleased with them. And these characteristics, they come from Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. Qal Allah tabarak wa ta'ala fi kitabin al-kareem Inna Ibrahim kana ummatin qanitin lillahi hanifin wa lam yuku min al-mushrikeen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that verily Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam was an ummah meaning that he was like a leader or he was an imam qalitin lillah that he was always obedient to Allah hanifin meaning that he was on he was accepting towards the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on pure tawheed, meaning his heart was uh, filled with love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and was free from loving other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning free from shirk, free from worshipping and having that kind of love for anything or anyone besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the heart of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was filled, filled with uh, love and acceptance of the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, inna Ibrahim kana ummatin qanitin lillahi hanifin wa lam yakun min al-mushrikeen. And Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam was not from the mushrikeen. He was not of those people who worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From this verse, even though it's just a short part of the verse in Surah al -Nahr, there are so many benefits that the scholars of Islam they uh, derive from this verse, that they teach us from this verse. Uh, Sheikh Salih bin Fawzan, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he's one of the major scholars, he's here in Saudi Arabia, in, in uh, Riyadh. And what he says about this verse, he said that this verse illustrates for us, it shows us, the characteristics of the person who has complete Tawheed, meaning they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completely and, and very perfectly, if you want to say. That they, these are the characteristics of the mu'mineen, of the believers. First, like Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he was an ummah. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he was an, meaning he was an example, or he was an imam or he was like a leader in doing good. This is who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was describing in this verse? Who? Prophet who? We just said. Uh huh? Iowa? Prophet who? Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. Naam. So that Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he was an ummah, he was a leader for good that he was calling the people to khair, his example was, uh, he was a, a, a beautiful example for us. Because Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, his father and his people, they worshipped other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he said, inni bari'un mimma ta'budun. He said, verily I am free from what you worship. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, even though his own father and his own people, they worshipped other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were committing shirk. 
Ibrahim freed himself from that. Meaning he had so much love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he even separated himself from his beloved family and his beloved tribe. Why? Because they were committing shirk. Because they worshipped other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the example of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. And this is the example of Tawheed. Because Tawheed, when we say we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, that means that we distance ourselves from shirk, from worshipping other than Allah. Can we worship Allah alone and worship somebody else? No, we can't. We can, our worship is purely for Allah. Because if you worship, if someone worships Allah and they worship someone else, then this is shirk. And if someone worships someone else besides Allah, then this is shirk. So both of them are shirk. So if you call or supplicate to someone, meaning you, you make dua, you supplicate, you pray to someone who can't hear you, they could be dead. They could be someone who is far from you, but they can't hear you. Then this, this can be shirk. You can fall into shirk this way. Why, if you believe that they can help you or harm you, and you say, oh, even if you're far from your mom, and you say, oh, boy, oh, and she can't hear you. She's not on the telephone, and you're, you're by yourself. Oh, boy, oh, please save me. No, you can't do that. That is a type of shirk. Why? Because she cannot help you in that situation. She can't hear you, she can't help you. So it's not permissible for you to call, to supplicate, to make dua, to ask for something from someone who is totally unable to do so because they cannot even help themselves or they are far from you and there's no way to reach them. There's no way to reach them and you, you ask them to help you. They can't help you, nor can they harm you. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If, for example, some people, they, have, uh, they fa fall into a serious accident or an earthquake happens and they're scared. And then they, they call, sometimes people call upon other than Allah. They say, oh Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam. Oh Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wasalam. Oh so and so. They, they say this to save them. But only supplicating to Allah will benefit them. And that is tawheed. If they supplicate to other than Allah, that's shirk. If they call upon other than Allah, who cannot help them, that's shirk. And so, Ibrahim والسلام, was far from that. In the Ibrahim ummatin, he was an example for us. Allah, meaning he was doing obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. Uh, hanifin, and he was also uh, except his heart was open to Tawheed and open to worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and had love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when then you come in al mushrikeen and he was not one of the people who committed shirk. This is the case of uh, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam and this is the characteristics as they say in Arabic sifat men haqqaqa Tawheed these are the characteristics of the person who perfects their Tawheed if they have these characteristics first they're an example for other people. They set an example. They're a leader in calling to Allah and worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second characteristic is that they, uh, they are regular in their obedience to Allah. This is what qanitin, qanitin lillah. This means that they are regular in their obedience. Not that sometimes they pray, sometimes they supplicate to Allah, sometimes they supplicate to someone else. No. The person who's qanitin lillah who, who uh, actualizes Tawheed or, or it perfects their Tawheed is the one who's regular in their obedience to Allah. They're not committing shirk ever. They're regular in their obedience and they're setting an example for others. Also, they, their heart is mu'allik lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their heart is mu'allik lil khair. Their heart is accepting khair. It, it, their heart is accepting good. And their heart is attached to good. And their heart is attached to Allah. And obedience to Allah. Because everything that relates to obedience to Allah is good. Everything that relates to disobedience to Allah is what? Is bad. Jazakallah khair. So Ahl Tawheed 
they have these characteristics that they are examples, they're regularly obedient to Allah, and their hearts are fearful of Allah and loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sheikh Salim bin Bose had mentioned that the people have four characteristics that, that we gain from this verse and from uh, that we gain from this verse. He said it relates to four characteristics that Ibrahim had. He said, first, that he was an example of good for us. And he was a perfect example of good for us. Alayhi salatu wasalam. And that he was a good, a perfect example of patience. And an example of being focused and having certainty and sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what made him an imam in deen. That's what made him a leader in the deen. That's what made Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam one of the NBA, one of the examples for us to follow. Alayhi salatu wasalam. The second characteristic Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam had was that he was obedient and fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was regular in his ibadah. He was regular in his obedience. Ibrahim was what? Did he only sometimes worship Allah? How did he do it? All the time. Jazakallah khayyam. Good. He was obedient to Allah all the time. Alayhi salatu wasalam. And the third characteristic Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam had is that he also was a person who refused shirk and was away from shirk and distanced himself from shirk and that he was, his heart was open and accepting uh, to tawheed, to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the fourth characteristic the Shaykh mentions, Hafizahullah ta'ala, is that Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was far from shirk. He was far from any type of shirk and he was far from the people who worshipped Allah, who worshipped other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was far from mushriks, from people who believed in worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam distanced himself from them. Inni bara'u mimma ta'budun. That's what Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam said. He said, I'm free from those, though, from what you worship. I'm, I'm away from that. Alayhi salatu wasalam. And this is, those are some of the characteristics of the believer and the one who actualizes Tawheed. Uh, in an, another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Mu'mineen, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ لَا يُشْرِكُونَ that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes those people who are believers and those people who are obedient and actualize Tawheed, that they haqqaq Tawheed, they complete Tawheed. And they are the ones who do not associate any partners with their Lord. That's the characteristics of the believers. That's the characteristic we want to have. So what is that important characteristic that we want to have? Is that we stay away from what? From what? From, huh? Who can help her? Stay away from? What do we stay away from? Shirk. Jazakallah khayrah. That is a characteristic, the sifat of the believers. The mu'minin, they stay away from shirk. They stay away from that which is worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they stay away from the people who worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and commit shirk and call people to shirk and call people to disobedience to Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.